So what's up everyone? Welcome back to the night shift. We have the K24A upside down as you can see and I'm about to remove the oil pan and uh, get started on this oil pump. So you also need to be paying attention whenever you pull these out because the three in the front are a little bit longer than the rest of them. So make sure you keep tabs on that. I need a workbench, but I don't have one. So. Sometimes you have to make do with what you have. This is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. Don't do drugs. Oh. <laughs> ah, dang. I think I'm being an asshole. Come on, you little bastard. So, these two have sleeves on them, or collars, or whatever you want to call it. You might not be able to see it. It is very important that those go back where they were. Voila. Just like that. Skadoosh. All right, cool. You always want to make sure that you're in top dead center, which I is. Cool. This guy right here says outside if you can see it see where that says outside right there so I'm gonna be replacing my timing tensioner but if you decide that you don't want to do that and you want to reuse yours voila grab here and here squeeze it in Put your little piece of metal in it, and it'll keep it from moving.
sounds stupid. I'm also replacing my timing chain, so I do not need this either. There's your part number for the chain. Thank you, Ethan, for giving it to me with the car. It's about to get used. Rock and roll, brother. That's what I'm talking about. Hear it, hear it. Okay, so. <clears throat> now we've got two 12s and what looks like two 14s. Why the inside of the motor got to smell like this? Like it's been booty cheeking it up while you've been driving down the road. God. Obsolete. Obsolete. God, this thing is heavy. Holy shit. Uh. Gotta take out these six tens for this guy. And this guy back here. Also, while you have all of this stuff off, just go ahead and scrape all of this off and around and get it off the front. It's just so much easier than assembling everything and then being like, oh man, okay, now I'll remove the gasket. Like, just go ahead and take it off. It's so much easier. So, I don't know if you can see that really good or not, and the front over here, but all of that is nice cleaned up, and I got the gasket. Uh, the RTV Honda Bond uh, removed and speaking of which I don't have any so I'm gonna have to go get some but in the meantime I'm gonna end up taping all this up and I'm gonna paint the block and all that stuff anyway so it's really not that big of a deal um, but just make sure that you get all of that clean um, I used a razor blade for the big pieces and the strips and then go back with like a scotch brock pad and kind of cover everything up you don't want it you don't want it coming apart and getting down in the oil and stuff that's still in there unless you really plan on like completely deep cleaning the inside of the engine which I'm not I mean I'm gonna empty all that stuff out and then fill her up with oil and let her eat son so so our next course of action is this guy right here We need that old girl to sit like that. Uh, and it doesn't fit. Clearly. So, what you have to do is you have to Oh. I'll be damned. <laughs> I told you wrong. This is a pre-cut one. Uh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> that was a pre-cut one. So, 
sorry, thanks for coming. Uh, tune in next time when I make another ass of myself. Windage tray. This guy right here, there's a little plug. Probably can't see it that well. But, a little plug. Some people like to put a screw in it. I'm going to try and get in there with this pick right here. And, uh, okay, now that didn't work. Okay. Here's some gray, but it's not Honda Bond, so I'm not going to use it for the wool pan and the timing cover. I want actual Honda Bond. It's probably the same thing, but, you know, uh, it is what it is. If you can see that bolt right there. There we go. So, I'm just going to smear it all around here. If you're watching this, you probably know already that if you do not do this, you will lose oil pressure, uh, and it'll essentially ruin the motor. So you definitely want to uh, plug this A little hole. You pull the little thingy out of. I don't know what the hell that's even called, but doesn't matter. It's a thingy. Pull that son of a bitch out. Put a freaking bolt in it, man. That's what I'm talking about. Don't worry about specifics, man. Just do it. Do it to it. Brand spanking new, kid. By the way, Jordan, I'm sorry. Um, I lied to you. I thought that this was not uh, the one that was already cut, and it turns out it is. That was a total foot in my mouth moment. Old Judy, old Judy Chop, done. Tight. 
So this is pretty straightforward. Um, I ended up, Jordan gave me one that was already cut, so sorry Jordan. Uh, I told you it wasn't cut and it ended up being cut, so unfortunately I didn't get to do a video on cutting it. So, um, there you go, that's all there is to it. I uh, need to swap out the cam gear, the VTC gear, but I don't have a 15 16 wrench or a 24 millimeter, so I can't do that right now. Uh, so that will have to wait. I might do a video on it, I might not. I mean, you can look it up. Uh, there's been a lot of people who have done videos on them, so I don't know if I'm just going to go ahead and try and get this together as quick as possible. That way I can go ahead and have a something that's a little bit better on gas than my Tahoe is. Um, because gas prices are probably about to get outrageous, so I think that's about it. I've made quite the mess that I need to clean up. Um, I might do a video on painting it. I don't know. It's just up to uh, what you guys want to see. So, yeah. So that's all there is to it. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Um, we're going to try and stay rolling with this uh, as much as possible. Um, I really need it to be going already because, like I said, the gas prices are pretty bad. So I'm going to wrap the video up here on the oil pump. Um, and if you like this video, then like it. I mean, it only makes sense, I guess. Um, but I appreciate everybody watching and those who have subscribed already and liked the videos and been very interactive with me and stuff. It's really awesome. Uh, this is something that hopefully I'll get better at and hopefully I can keep doing. So with that, we'll see you all next week.